In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Today in the Gospel lesson this morning, we found Philip finding his friend Nathaniel, finding his loved one, his, his close, his close fellow, soon-to-be fellow disciple Nathaniel, and he said, come, we've, we've found the Messiah. We found the person whom the entire scriptures and Moses wrote about. His name is Jesus of Nazareth. If he had just said Jesus, maybe that would have been fine. But he said of Nazareth. And Nathaniel's first response was, Nazareth? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip had good news. He had great news. He had the best news that any ears have ever heard of the coming of the Son of Man, of the coming of the Son of God, and the coming of our Savior, of our Messiah. Yet, Nathaniel's first response was, I don't like that place. That place is a little strange. It's a little undesirable. It's a little, Nazareth wasn't like Rome or Jerusalem or Alexandria. It was a humble town. It was a town that you didn't make vacation plans to go to. So, oh, well, that's great. The Messiah is coming, but from there? I'm not sure if I care for there. Today, and every week during Lent, we're going to be offering special donations to charities. And today, we're going to be offering our second tray and additional trays that will be uh, collected at the end of liturgy for OCMC, the Orthodox Christian Mission Center, whose job it is to go to there, the place that we might not necessarily feel comfortable in, the place that we might not necessarily want to go to, the place that might be a little hard to live in and to minister in as Orthodox Christians. OCMC's vision and mission is that they are the, the, official, the official evangelical missions organization of the Assembly of Bishops and that they are going to make disciples of all nations by going to those nations, by going to those places that we might recoil at when we hear, oh, I have to go there? No, I get to go there. I have the privilege to go there and preach to them. I have the privilege to go there. And bringing Christ and his church to these locations, we're able to go and send preachers to people who have never heard the word of God before. We just had the, the, the blessing of having one such missionary in our church this weekend on Friday, Jennifer Rice, who is preparing to go for a mission for two years to Guatemala. She's not going to the cities in Guatemala, but to the rural mountainsides where the the indigenous Mayan people, not your everyday Guatemalans, but some people would view them as primitive people or, or village people, you know? She's going to people who have never heard the word of Christ or who have just heard it and are baptized and are infants in the faith. She's going there to preach to them to instruct them, to bring them up in this beautiful faith that we have been given and a faith that's not been given to us to keep to ourselves, but to share and to share where? To everywhere, to all nations, even Nazareth and those places that we might not think are desirable to go to. OCMC is doing that work and thanks to our contributions that we make every year and thanks to your contributions that you're able to make today, we will be able to fund more missions and more missionaries like Jennifer in the years to come. We're blessed here to be, uh, to have an intimate relationship with OCMC uh, since the mission center is just a short way away in St. Augustine and because we have many faithful and, uh, and active leaders in missions. We have our own Helen Nekuzisius, who is kind of a board member emeritus, in addition to Deacon John Christakis and Athena Economou, who are active on the board, and our own Marlene Butner, who is our chair here at St. Mark for missions and evangelism. Through their role models and their inspiration and their leadership, may we all answer the call as well to support missions, even if we're not able to go ourselves to support others who can. God bless you all. Thank you, and I encourage you all at the end of liturgy to find, uh, to find our missions chairs and, and all those who are taking the uh, additional donations after communion and uh, at dismissal. God bless you all.
Having remembered all the saints, let us